Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. I'm going to show you how to stabilize FPS in Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze for those of you struggling with performance using a rather peculiar method. It's a bit messy but also very easy and definitely worth discussing. Behind any piece of content produced is typically hours of testing, research, checking and rechecking. It can become quite monotonous and on many occasions leads nowhere with no interesting discoveries to share. A simple three minute video would usually have endless hours of work behind it to ensure that the information contained is accurate and useful to the end user. In this instance, I was checking Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze in Simu 1.12.2, the current publicly available version of the emulator as of this content. Some of you will have experience with Tropical Freeze and others none. There are game titles which have a history of working better on older versions of Simu, like Donkey Kong in version 1.7.2 where it would run at 1080p 60fps with few issues. These days it's known to suffer from slowdowns and some glitches and ultimately it's not practical to have to use multiple versions of the emulator to run different games. The question of slowdown in Tropical Freeds is obviously a bit of a deal breaker for those of you trying to enjoy your gaming experience. Well, I might have a solution for you. It's a bit weird and not perfect, but stick with me here. Tropical Freeze has in its game profile a command which forces the GPU buffer cache accuracy to lock to high. Without the accuracy set to high, you'll be presented with a one-way ticket to epilepsy land due to extreme visual corruptions. Now, this is where things get interesting. A high GPU buffer accuracy comes at the expense of performance. This is the case for just about every title and is the eternal battle which emulators have to fight. Accuracy versus performance. Let me show you how to avoid slowdowns in the game and maintain 60fps in Simu 1.12.2. Just as a disclaimer, this is not perfect and I've not tested every level, so this is something I want all of you to try. Load Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, then close it. Open your Simu log file found in the root directory and find the game profile for Tropical Freeze. Go to your game profile folder and search for the file. Open it up and add a hash symbol at the beginning of the line. Now, save and close. What this will do is allow us to manually control buffer cache accuracy and not be forced on high. Load the game again and jump into a level. In options and cache accuracy, make sure it's set to low. Notice that you see heavy visual corruptions all over the screen. This next part is somewhat unexplainable. Open the gamepad view in options, then go full screen in game. Somehow this severely decreases the visual errors or should I say it does for me on an Nvidia GPU and because the cache is set to low, you'll be able to maintain 60 FPS with a lot more regularity. As I say, this is a bit bizarre and is not perfect. And whilst I can't guarantee it works for you, I hope it does. Make sure to let me know in the comments section down below. If you're curious to my additional settings, I was using a 1080p res graphic pack, separable shaders with disabled pre-compiled shader cache, and dual core recompiler CPU mode. Whilst this doesn't eliminate all visual corruptions, it does significantly decrease them. And much more importantly than that, this method provides stable FPS with stable frame times with what should be zero slowdowns depending on your system. Naturally, I expect you to be using a full shader cache. And as a side note, I did have CMU's internal VSync enabled. If you initially experience any kind of screen tearing or flickering, simply restart Simu and of course, feel free to switch between low, medium and high in accuracy to see how it affects your experience. I would like to finish by saying that I am very curious to see whether the introduction of Simu 1.13.0 later this month with its texture cache rework, whether or not that will actually fix these errors within Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze as, as well as a number of other titles. So stay tuned for that. 
If you enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like as it helps out the channel. If you didn't, dislike and to stay up to date with all things Simu, subscribe.